Hi guys, this is Apple Help again and um, part of my tutorial on iOS 7 and what I'm really trying to do is answer questions that people might want to know. So um, there's a few changes obviously that's come out with iOS 7. There's um, obviously Notification Center which is swipe down from the bottom and pull up. Um, one of the um, areas where a lot of people haven't noticed is that if you have got an Apple TV now it's really easy to sync um, and send your videos, music to Apple TV. And you can see just from this AirPlay here, you can select it and you can choose your Apple TV device and go down. So it's a really quick access for that. So your notification center obviously was a quick um, quick one. We did cover that off in the tutorial before. But um, Safari, what you'll notice with Safari now is that um, the symbols at the bottom, so these symbols here at the bottom are, um, are new and some people might not know what they mean. Um, so this one here is um, open pages. So basically whatever pages that you've got open at the moment, you can scroll through these and and go through them and, and come back. You can also look at your bookmarks um, and if you've got iCloud you can look at the different um, what, what things are open on your different i devices like iPad and there's my Mac Mini there, there's um, another iPhone and so these are things which are, are open on those. So it's really good if you've been reading something on your iPad for instance and then you go out and you want to gain access to that, you can gain access to that on your iPhone. So um, from here you can um, close things just by tapping the X very simply or you can just select the page that you want to go to and it will load it up with a fresh um, a fresh new install well obviously a, a fresh update so from whatever date it, it is then so that's um, how you can use that one of the good things you'll notice there as well that if you do want to do some um, private browsing let's just say obviously the only reason you do private browsing is when you're looking at buying Christmas presents for your partner so therefore from that same button here down the bottom you can click private browsing you can close all and then you can go straight to whichever shop shall we say that you want to go to so that's um, that's private browsing and it's really easy to access just turn it on and turn it off there okay so this um, is the bookmarks so this opens up your bookmark section and you can have your reading so this is where you save things, um, again it's popular in iCloud, you save uh, a website to read later and this is your reading list and then obviously you can have your um, Twitter list as well there as well. So that's your bookmarks. And this button here, um, sorry, this button at the bottom here, this is your sharing. So this means that you can, you know, if you're on a website and you um, think, oh, I want someone to know about that, you can share it with your Facebook, your Twitter, you can message someone about it, you can add it to your reading list, you can copy it, you can bookmark it, and you can do um, do all of these. So, And if you slide across, then you can go, go to print that as well, if you've got access to an air printer. So that's Safari. Um, obviously, the things that change the bar at the bottom is is different. Some people are, are getting on well with this. Others are struggling. Um, I'm still on the fence. You know, I did quite like the old Safari browser. I know that this is a flatter design and it's more um, supposedly modern. It's the Johnny Ive uh, design classic. But for Safari, you know, sometimes I've uh, I've got a little bit frustrated with it. Um, but I think the um, you know the rest of the iOS obviously is good. Um, we'll look at some other things over the course of the next um, few days. But um, this is Safari on iOS 7. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like it? Uh, are you struggling to get on with it? Is there any other things that you want me to answer for you? Just uh, leave a note in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.